हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू लर्न मोर मैथ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट स्टैटिस्टिक्स पार्ट नंबर 6 फाइंडिंग आउट अ मेड इन ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ डेटा सो स्टूडेंट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न टू फाइंड अ मीन ऑफ ग्रुप ऑफ डेटा यूजिंग थ्री मेथड्स बट हियर देयर इज ओनली वन मेथड to find the median of group of data student it is very easy and important so we use this formula to find the median so median is equal to median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h so this is the formula we use to find the median of the group of data student so median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h so what are the terms involved in the formula say student where l is equal to l is equal to lower boundary of the median class 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 so l is equal to what student lower boundary of the median class n is equal to sum of the frequencies sum of the frequencies sum of the frequencies that is n n is equal to sum of the frequencies cf is equal to cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class so cf is equal to cumulative frequency of the class cumulative frequency of the class of the class preceding the median class preceding the median class preceding the median class cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class so f is equal to frequency of the median class frequency of the median class frequency of the median class f is equal to frequency of the median class and h is equal to size of the class size of the class h is equal to size of the class so these are the terms involved in the formula student see see once again what is the formula median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h where l is equal to lower boundary of the median class n is equal to sum of the frequencies cf is equal to cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class f is equal to frequency of the median class h is equal to size of size of the class so these are the terms involved in the formula student so you have to remember the formula and the terms involved in the formula so he asked for two marks student write the formula to find the median of the group of data and explain each term involved in it so very important student every time he is asking formula for the two marks so you have to write this formula and the terms in the formula so see student we have to find the median of group of data here there is a question he has given the distribution gives the weights of 30 students of a class find the median weight of the students so he has given weight in kg and a number of students he has given so how can we find the median to see student we have to prepare a tabular formula so we have to prepare a tabular form so solution see student how can we find the solution so first he has given weight in kg you have to write weight so what he has given write weight so next number of students he has given this is known as frequency number of students it is known as frequency f so next we have to find cumulative frequency cumulative frequency 
cumulative frequency we have to find the student so just he has given two col two rows we have to add one more column so he has given these two horizontally just we have to write them vertically and after writing those two we have to add one more column cumulative frequency so he asks every time in the objective bit student like this in which central tendency cumulative frequency is used in which central tendency cumulative frequency is used so you have to say in the median so cumulative frequency is used to find the median that you have to remember student cumulative frequency is used to find the median so here weight has given weight in kg so first one is 40 to 45 so next uh, 45 to 50 50 to 55 50 to 55 55 to 60 60 to 65 65 to 70 and 70 to 75 so these are the weights of students uh, and the number of students he has given there are two students uh, in between 40 to 45 and there are three here and there are eight there are six here again six three two so these are the number of students whose weights in between the class intervals so these values are known as frequency student and now we have to find a cumulative frequency so this is very important student how can we find the cumulative frequency for the given frequency so what it means student he has given weight in kg and a number of students so what it means there are two students whose weight in between 40 to 45 kg so there are two students whose weight is in between 40 to 45 kg so there are three students whose weight is in between 45 to 50 there are eight students whose weight is in between 50 to 55 kg like this student now we have to write the cumulative frequency how can we write c student there are two students whose weight lies in between 40 and 45 kg and also we can say that there are two students whose lie, whose weight is less than 45 kg so how many students are there whose weight is less than 45 kg there are two students so i am asking so how many students are there whose weight is less than 50 kg so now we have to add these two students so the number of students whose weight is less than 50 so here the number of students whose weight is in between 45 to 50 is 3 but i am asking the number of students whose weight is less than 50 so these two students also comes here so that is a 2 plus 3 we have to write student 2 plus 3 is 5 so next the number of students whose weight is less than 55 so these three will come here so now we have to add 2 plus 3 plus 8 that is a 5 plus 8 which is equal to 13 so the number of students whose weight is less than 60 kg again these all comes here so 13 plus 6 we can write which is equal to 19 so the number of students whose weight is less than 65 so these all comes here 19 plus 6 is 25 19 plus 6 25 so the number of students whose weight is less than 70 so all this comes here 25 plus 3 which is equal to 28 so now the number of students whose weight is less than 75 all the students comes here 28 plus 2 is equal to 28 plus 2 is equal to 30 so finally we get the total number of students in the class there are 30 in the class so in the final cumulative frequency we can get the total number of students in the class so after writing the cumulative frequency student now we have to identify the median class we have to identify the median class so here uh, this n is equal to 30 student we can represent this 30 with n 
we have to find n by 2 n by 2 is equal to 30 divided by 2 which is equal to 15 so now we have to find in which cumulative frequency 15 comes so here it is 2 here it is 5 here it is 13 so in 19 15 comes in 19 so this is the median class student by finding the n by 2 value we have to identify the median class so this class is known as median class so 15 comes here so here it is 2 5 13 so 19 is there 15 comes here so this is known as a this is a known as a median class so this is known as median class student you have to identify the median class so this is known as median class so now i am writing this class is known as a median class median class this is known as median class so after identifying the median class this value is known as a frequency of the median class this is known as frequency of the median cl class this is known as a cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class this is known as a cf value so this value is known as a l value student 55 so now we have to substitute all the values in the formula student so this is the formula we use to find a median median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h so from the table we have from the table so here 55 to 60 is 55 to 60 is the median class is the median class is the median class so from the table we have from the table we have See student uh, L is equal to lower boundary of the median class so this is the median class student uh, so what is the lower boundary L is equal to lower boundary of the median class uh, L is equal to 55 here 55 is the lower boundary of the median class uh, so n by 2 e already we have student it is uh, 15 so n by 2 is equal to 15 and cf is equal to cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class this is the median class preceding the median class is this uh, cumulative frequency is 13 student so we have cf is equal to 13 and f frequency of the median class this is the median class student frequency of the median class f is equal to 6 and finally we have to write h size of the class so c student difference between any two successive lower boundaries or any two successive upper boundaries are the difference between lower and upper boundary of class interval it is a uh, how much student phi h is equal to phi we have all the values just simply how to substitute in the formula median is equal to l plus n by 2 minus cf by f into h i am substituting student uh, median is equal to median is equal to l plus l value is 55 plus n by 2 n by 2 value directly we have 15 student uh, minus cf cf is 13 divided by f value is 6 into h h value is 5 student so now I have to simplify 55 plus 15 minus 3 is 2 by 3 into 5 so sorry 2 by 6 student so cancel with the two ones and two threes so finally you can get here 55 plus 5 by 3 55 plus 5 by 3 that is equal to 55 plus uh, if you divide 5 with 3 you can get uh, 1.66 so it is approximately equal to 56.66 kg so this is the median weight of the 30 students so he is asking to find the median weight of the students therefore we have to write in the conclusion the median weight of the students median weight of the students is equal to 
median weight of the students median weight of the students is equal to 56.66 kg so like this we can find the median of the given data student see here how can we find so just he has given two row student we have to write as vertical he has given horizontally we have to write vertically just we have to add a column cumulative frequency after writing the cumulative frequency we have to find the median class student so the sum of the frequency is known as n n is equal to 30 we have to find n by 2 n by 2 is equal to 15 to identify the median class we have to find the n by 2 values in which cumulative frequency n by 2 comes that is 15 comes we have to observe student 2 5 13 in 1915 comes student so hence this class is known as the median class so after identifying the median class we have to identify the terms so l is a lower boundary of the median class f is a frequency of the median class cf is cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class h is the size of the class we have to substitute in the formula to find the median so that's all student this is the method we use to find the median so to get a so in the next class we will learn about finding out mode of group data so to get latest updates subscribe to my channel learn more maths by varakumar watnala